Hi everyone, welcome to another journaling video. My name is Alyssa and this is my channel, She or She Writes Books. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Um, today I am going to be showing you what I'm using for the month of July, for One Book July, because that is happening around the journaling and planning community, and I'm kind of a part of the journaling community. <laughs> So, I'm going to be showing you my Camel Traveler's Notebook today. This is one of my favorite journals that I have, and I've had it since April, I think, towards the beginning of April. So, April, May, June, that's about three months. Um, it does have some scratches. There's a pen mark up here. I put a few stamps on here, but this one did not turn out, sadly. Um, we found a stamp with my name on it, which I was happy about, because I've been wanting one, and then my mom finds one when we were packing and moving. And I'm also going to be filming this kind of quickly. Um, I'm literally using one book and one insert how it's intended. Also, I have one pen that I'm using, but I don't know how long it's going to last because I'm using it a lot. Um, I'm also doing Camp NaNoWriMo, so I'll talk a little bit about that in this video as well. Um, I may have to come back to this video after I get back, but I've added a seashell from Pleasure Point. Um, actually, three seashells. Um, these are two right here that I have on an elastic cord, and that is kind of under everything. And then I also have this tag, which has our name or in our town, because it used to be our first dog's um, tag, and. We don't have him anymore, but it's like the one thing of Max, that was his name, that we have. And I found it while cleaning, and there's a lot of yard work going on around the condos where we live. So if you hear that, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm glad I'm not filming outside, although I didn't think about sitting outside, but I have to go soon. <laughs> Anyways, these are just like my charms that I'll have on each journal. I'm also planning on saving up for, saving up this month for, um, the blue Traveler's Notebook because I've been wa really wanting it after having this one and loving it so much. And it's from the Traveler's Company. By the way, you're probably really familiar with all of it. Um, anyways, I've been really dying for the blue one, so I'm gonna save it for that, as well as, if, hopefully, after saving up for that, I'm gonna save up also to have a fun day at Michael's, so that I can get inserts for these, because they do have the ones with Recollections Traveler's Notebooks, um, and the Recollection Recollections brand was actually my first Traveler's Notebook ever, um, and this is my second one. I have a passport in my purse. But, moving into it, it's just so soft and I can't stop feeling it. I also like the kind of floppiness, but also semi-sturdiness that these ones have. And I have been thinking about saving up for, like, apple pig leather art and um, over her leather. But I'm like, you know what? These are also cheaper, and I like the simplicity of it, so I'm just going to stick with the Traveler's Company, because the other ones are around hundreds of dollars. Um, I don't have that much to spend, so I have my zipper pocket, which is what, what is wrapping around the entire thing. I just have a photo of Credence Barebone from Fantastic Beasts, because he's kind of like my spirit animal, spirit warrior. I relate to him so much. I have Ripley, and Ripley's over there sleeping. Sorry for the boxes, we're still moving. Um, I have an If Lost, Please Find back here. I have some random papers behind these two photos that's Newt Scamander. 
Um, I have this, which just has my information, and uh, if lost, please return. It's the card hold. no, not card holder, um, craft folder, that's what it is. I just have a random sticky note and random pieces of paper left over from other projects. And then this is my insert, it is completely tea dyed, I have some old book pages, and that's about it. Um, I'm already, I'm not going to show you everything because it's personal, um, I'm kind of this, f well, I haven't written on a couple pages, I haven't written on the back of this page, but I'm not going to show you that because it's really personal and I just wrote it, um, but I have little pages, I have book pages made in pockets so that I can add more journaling into it because I am really trying I know it's only the third day of one month July, but I'm really trying to, um, you know, work on it. <laughs> work on only using this notebook because I made it and then I just kind of set it to the side and I didn't, I made it right before we moved. So I was really busy, but now there's a lot that I've done within the past couple weeks where I've used this notebook as well as my loose room, which I am going to go back to that, but it may not be like my summer one, but that is pretty much it. I also have a picture of the Sacramento Temple. I have my pen in here and some random scraps of paper with my two charms, a dolphin charm and then a uh, four-leaf clovey, clover, uh, like trinity, Celtic Trinity, um, it matches my bracelet that, cause these are this one and not these bracelets that I'm wearing. I have an Irish or a bracelet from Ireland and that necklace is from Ireland that my aunt, that my aunt got me and I have her thinking and she's sleeping. So there's that. This is my one look to lie now. I have this. I'm on page five. I'm not really tracking anything. This is not my crime novel. It's a completely different novel. One second. I am downstairs, so sorry for the mess. Um, sorry for the noise. Can't really help either. Um, yeah, I know it's been a while since I've talked about anything writing or journaling related. Because that's where my channel's gone for. But I am liking the story so far. Um, it's very anxiety filled in the beginning. Because my character has like a fear of something. I'm still figuring it out. That's kind of my current title for it. But I don't like it. And then I drew my little <laughs> drawing. Um, yeah, this is chapter one. I'm not tracking anything. I did put in the camp, the camp Nanorama website what I'm working on, but I changed my project and I haven't changed it on the site. <laughs> Whoops. Um, that's just what I do, you know, is I, I change things last minute. Because I was going to use my Louis Term journal, and then I realized, oh hey, I have this insert. I was thinking about saving it until September. For my Seattle trip, but then I ended up, you know, using it now because it's I it's just been staring me in the face. So, and I haven't used this in a while, so I'm trying to get back into using that. And I'm not going to be tracking like word count. Pay, well, obviously I'm handwriting it, so I cannot track my word count anyways, which is kind of nice, but. I don't really want to, well, I didn't kind of show you. Yeah, it says paranormal. It's a paranormal story. Do I know what it is completely yet? No, because I just started it on Sunday, on the 30th, right before the first of Camp Nanorimo. So this is what I'm working on Camp Nanorimo, and I think I'm going to update you guys in, uh, in the same videos 
on my one book July and my Camp Nan arrival because they're both happening this month. So if you guys don't mind that, eh, I, I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, so that is my one book July and my Camp Nan arrival is I'm working on this paranormal story that I just came up with on Sunday the 30th. So, I hope you guys are doing well with your two projects. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know what kind of journal you're using because I'd be interested. Um, and I'm kind of trying to find like new journals that I can try. So, let me know of any new like brands that you liked of journals and notebooks down below um, that are still fairly cheap. And then let me know what kind of projects you're working on for Camp NaNoWriMo if you're doing Camp NaNoWriMo. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Bye!